Nick Howley was born in Philadelphia to a big Irish Catholic family. He was the oldest of eight, and he loved football. After high school, Nick studied engineering at Drexel University. He worked in manufacturing and ultimately attended Harvard Business School to get his MBA. He met his wife, Laurie, in 1980 and proposed a year later. When he proposed, he said to me, just so you know, this life is going to be bumpy, but it will always be interesting. And I said, okay. That's the way that went. And was he right? Oh, yes, <laughs> he was right. In the early days, Nick had a growing family and was a serial entrepreneur. He started and closed three businesses before eventually launching Transdime in 1993. It was a little bit of a scary time. I mean, he came home and said, we need to you know, mortgage the farm and, <laughs> and use, the children's, use the children's college fund you know, to do this. Um, what do you think we should do? And pretty much we decided it was a good idea. This time it happened to work. We ended up being the successful buyer with a private equity backer. It was a small business, about 50 million in revenue. And that essentially was the foundation of a trans time. Transdime manufactures airplane parts for the production of new planes and for when these parts need replacement. Many planes fly for 30 to 40 years, so there is a huge aftermarket demand. Nick thinks much of the success the company has achieved can be attributed to a decision he made with his co-founder early on. My partner at the time, we both observed how stifling it was to put someone in a large structure with a large uh, command and control kind of central office. It, it generated little value, stifled creativity, and frankly, chased off entrepreneurial aggressive people. We very quickly developed this concept of autonomous business units and empowering people. We felt very strongly that the more you can make people feel like owners, pay them like owners, and treat them like owners, the more they'll act like owners. And then that became the bedrock of our, of our belief in our company going forward. The only way to run a business is to leave the capability, intelligence, the resources at the individual business unit level and not have them up at corporate, uh, where all you can do is add bureaucracy and slow down the process. Transdime has almost 50 different operating businesses under its umbrella. These teams can run autonomously, and business leaders are empowered to succeed. Transdime employs 15,000 people and is now one of the largest commercial aerospace manufacturers in the world. With Transdime, it's very much an entrepreneurial culture, and I think that that's driven by our abilities to let people feel empowered, let people feel that we will listen, we will give them the opportunity, and then they can have an impact on where Transdime is going. And that is something you don't get in most companies. The approach Nick and his team have taken allowed the company to grow from 50 million in revenue in 1993 to almost 5 billion in 2021. One time we were one of the highest performing stocks over a 10 year period of any ahead of Apple and you know Netflix and companies like that. It's just unbelievable when you think about what he was able to accomplish yet he doesn't take himself too seriously. You hang out with him, he's in jeans and a sweatshirt, you have a beer at a bar. You don't know that this is someone who created one of the real epic success stories of the last 20 years in, in industry and in business. This is a genuine, real person. What I believe makes Nick Halley successful is that he's extremely bright and he understands how to create value. But as he's doing that, he brings people along. He enables them to make decisions on their own. And he enjoys life. He's fun, he's humble, even with all the success that he's had. And he just makes you want to be part of his team. The term empowerment does capture Nick, I think, very well. It's not about self-promotion. It's about, I know that this organization or our society will be better if I can elevate those around me. I know this is true for me, but I think it's true for a lot of people. Nick helped me surpass my own expectations for what my career 
could mean to me and deliver for myself and my family. And that goes beyond just earning potential, but really as a leader, as a family man, a friend, Nick has obviously influenced us all tremendously. Transdime's success in business has enabled Nick and Lori to pursue philanthropy in a way they never could have imagined. Almost 20 years ago, we hit a point where we looked around and said, it's time to give back. And both of us agreed with that immediately. The decision was, as we looked at our family, the one thing that you can give to people that they can carry with them through their lifetime is an education. Nick and Lori are supporting a wide variety of students, giving scholarships and funding a unique school-to-work nursing program to give opportunity to deserving students. It's a great feeling to be able to help somebody else. The underlying idea here that runs through both Nick's life and our foundation life is that we encourage people. We give people a chance to go out and do the best that they can do. Life is hard work, but if you work hard, there's a lot out there you can do. The Singleton CEO Prize is awarded to leaders who demonstrate a combination of vision, talent, focus, and commitment, thereby producing exceptional shareholder returns over many years. The 2022 Singleton CEO Honoree is W. Nicholas Howley of the Transdime Group.